Don't make me misbehave. People want to. People make me want to mis misbehave all the time. All the time, they make me want to misbehave. They make me want to do things. They make me. They make me wonder too. They make me want to do things. God damn it! I'm just sitting in this position. My leg needs to stretch out a little bit. <sighs> but no, um, you know what I found out about myself is. I don't know. People can, when people get to you, it can be a good thing. You know, I think that you got to be angry sometimes to let people know or be able to, to create some boundaries for yourself. You know, people always tend to lab, label angry or label anger, label anger as, as a bad thing, but you know, and it's a misbehavior, it's mis mental illness or you know, any human emotion is almost like a mental illness in a way. And when you, when you get to a, because people get into a comfortable thinking process is a thing. They get into a thinking, a, 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 a great thinking process where they're comfortable with their thoughts. They can think things and talk to people um, without getting triggered. I think that's might be the reason why certain people can't learn things is because when you start talking about something, it triggers them. You know, like, I don't know, if you start talking, if you want to educate someone on war and stuff, you know, that's a lot, it, even like history, you know, when, when you go into, into school and they want to dump all this history bullshit, you know, I remember, I remember learning about, like, history and all of those things in school is almost traumatizing, you know, like, Oh, the guillotine and fucking, you know, the British are coming, the British are coming, you know, all this fucking shit you learn. And, um, you know, I think that to an extent, it's hard to protect kids from from learning certain things. So for, for it's like, well, you know, you got to fucking learn it sooner or later. But maybe I was maybe people are better off not learning certain things. Maybe their minds would be more comfortable, you know, and <laughs> not knowing certain things. but. And that seems to be the case sometimes, you know, some people, it's almost like they accept that they're dumb or they accept, you know, they're not really able to live outside of, you know, this kind of human behavior that they get kind of stuck in. But, you know, I I think what I discovered is I was uh, guilty of association with different types of people and how they would make me react and um, sometimes people want to control you and sometimes, uh, people are used to controlling other people because they want to be controlled and people can get a certain vibe from you. Like people like bums asking me for change and shit. Why are they asking me for change? I look like a gullible person. I, I like, I think that I'm just such a good hearted person that, you know, people just try to take advantage of me and shit, or they think that I'm an easy target. They think I'm fucking stupid, but I'm really just. You know, I don't know. It's weird how people can think that you're just a fucking idiot because you have a good heart, you know? And that's one thing I, I learned. Um, but, you know, being young, I made a lot of fucking mistakes. And um, and I did a lot of stupid shit in my life. And it took me a long time to get out of that and and realize why I was doing the things I was doing. And almost like, you know... I don't know. I feel like I'm preaching. This is like pre preaching preschool edition or something like, man, we don't need to, we don't need to hear a fucking Bible lecture or some bullshit, but it's kind of true. It's like, you know, I, there, there are certain things you can do that some people will consider misbehavior out of line. Cause they're disciplined. They won't do like, like, like being in a band or, or doing something like, fucking spontaneous and, and exotic like that you know like some people just don't they can't it's like almost that like they can't misbehave so they would never do something like that because they're so trained to believe that they are and they are this certain way but if they're that certain way and they do try to do something like you know that's kind of out of the ordinary you know almost like something that um that, that like people wouldn't normally do um then, I mean, they might be a little bit more normalized than, than other people that tend to, you know, be labeled for misbehavior and might have had a harder uh, background. Um, but 
for me, I, I started to see through everything everyone was, was saying to me. Uh, every conversation I would have, everything that led one thing to another. It seems like the root of a conversation a lot of the time is just qu quite utterly fucking pointless when it comes to my individual focus on what I'm doing. And it can just, it, like, I don't know, it's like responding to people on my channel, you know? If they have something to say to me, like, I know that people are intelligent. I can't sit here and act like I'm the best person in the world at, at, at making videos and shit, dude. But I do want to do better. Like, I absolutely want to do better, and I try to do better, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I can't sit here and just, like, beat myself up and, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, because some people are just never going to fucking like me. And I can't even believe that. I don't even want to believe that. I just want to be relevant or whatever and and succeed and be interesting and make entertainment i was so inspired but if you make videos like this and you talk about a whole lot of nothing that some people aren't interested in you know that's the way it goes and a lot of the time i just pop off but after making so many videos i learned that some of my speech was kind of repetitive and i would talk about some of the same concepts and that kind of led me to like hey you got to learn more and i've been talking about th that a lot because you know, and in the whole misbehavior of learning, too, you know, I think people make videos and they don't realize how actually easy it is to make videos as long as you understand how to do it. And there's kind of a learning curve in the way that you appear, the way that you sound, you know, and you do have to have good equipment and all that. But for me making videos, a lot of time I just hop on camera and basically just misbehaving. Oh, behave almost like I was just I was I wasn't disciplined to do the videos the way I was supposed to do them for the best result but I was I, I was the type of person that had uh such a erratic behavior um pattern that I was able to get myself on here and not give a fucking shit what anybody thought so I had one of the one of the good perks of um, you know, that, that provided me with that comfortability, acting out of the line, being rambunctious and psychotic have kind of led me to, um, you know, basically be more comfortable with this type of thing because it's almost like, you know, you start to learn though, is you have to control yourself. Like if you don't have, I don't know, it's weird. I can get into a whole conversation of types of videos and what you're putting into the video and all that. And some people don't want to hear other people talk on fucking camera. Um, but yeah, don't make me misbehave. That's all I'm going to say. But you can't make me misbehave because I got a pretty good control of myself. I think the biggest thing, yeah, I'm just going to say this real quick. I think the biggest thing with people, especially, you know, YouTube and, you know, just the internet in general, if people say things to you and it, it pisses you off because, you know, you want to be, you want to do your thing and, and make good stuff. And if people are going to shame you or be an asshole, then it doesn't exactly make you feel good. I don't feel anything anymore. And that's the way it needs to be. I feel like if you're having dramatic reactions or, or pissed off reactions to, to, to trash talk or uh, people that want to prove you wrong or show you how insignificant or bad you are, or, you know, you know, show you how much talent someone else has. Because people know what talent is. You know, a lot of people aren't stupid either. They just, you know, some people are just nice and they, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's different types of people. So some can be understanding and some can be complete assholes. But one thing I just learned is I just, I know my place. I know what I'm able to deliver. And, you know, I think I have a lot of potential. It's just like some things take time. They don't happen overnight. and for something as such as succeeding on YouTube, making videos like this, I mean that that's pretty much it's 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 pretty much a tough sell. It really is. It's a tough sell, and um, not not everyone is built for it. Um, but um, I think that part of it is not realizing from a technical standpoint what entertainment is and why it's interesting. Um, you know, especially talk videos, you have, you have, if you're not like acting can go far, but in opinionated intellectual property, that's, that can apply to a lot of intelligent people can go 
very far too, you know? And uh, so there's, I'm not really trying to get into the demographic dynamics of all of it, but um, I'm not really exactly trying to appeal to intellectuals either, but I'm trying to just go daily and do a wide variety of things um, and just kind of try to do it the best that I can. Um, it's not easy. There was a lot of, not only a learning curve, but there's been like a very hardcore, like emotional curve that I had to get over to where, you know, I wasn't sensitive and, um, you know, just, just really hard headed, you know, knowing what I'm doing. And, uh, I, I don't exactly, like, I don't want to sit here and be like, oh, please like, share and subscribe. I don't like doing that. You know, YouTube tries to teach you things and, you know, honestly, if, if you're really talented, you can you can really bypass a lot of the uh, procedural bullshit of. I just want to succeed on YouTube. Well, maybe I don't want to just succeed. Maybe I want to cause a big fucking revolution and change the world. Huh? What about that? And maybe I don't want to be one of those guys that just says a bunch of controversial bullshit and gets backed into a corner with a niche audience. Okay, that's all I got to say. Don't make me misbehave. You can't make me misbehave. I, I got myself under control. Maybe. I like to think I do. That's, that's kind of the idea. I like to make videos because I like to think I'm in control. Let me be in control for once. Don't criticize me, please. Don't bring me down. Don't try. I know. I know. There's a lot of people online. A lot of people get a lot of views, okay? I'm not, I'm not here to compare views. Can, can we just let this video go? Let this video go. Let this video go.